Good morning guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we have a morning routine of a hybrid athlete. Drink my espresso and now drinking on one scoop of G1M Sport. We have four miles today on the agenda. I'll catch you guys after this run. A mile three. We are close to three and a half. We're running at a pretty good pace. It's feeling good. It's a little cold out. Getting the miles done. Getting the cardiovascular back. And feels good to be on the feet again, baby. Ran four miles at a 7.59 pace. Super nice run. It's a little cold out, but we got it done. I felt really good and the strides felt really nice. After the run, I'll change to go to the gym. Have back and chest day on the agenda. Going to have a protein bar, maybe a banana for some quick carbs. After the run, then we'll have some new workouts. Since today was only four miles, it's super light. Usually I would lift later in the afternoon, but depending on what's going on, I will lift right after I run. So today, four miles. Gym today, we got a back, we got a chest workout, and I'll take you along. Gonna clear the whole scene, I don't leave a trace. I get money when I sleep, but I'm paper chase. Talk shit, get whipped. And after these runs, I always make sure that my water intake is super, super high. It's important for your water intake while running. Make sure you don't cramp up. Running agenda for this upcoming week. Still going to be a light taper up. Like I said before in my last video, I haven't ran for two weeks. I was in LA, I was in Texas, and then I was in Colorado. We're slowly building and I'm getting my legs back under me. It feels really good. We're going to ramp up training pretty soon. our fifth set so we're gonna hit 275 try to hit it for four i haven't gotten this heavy in a long time feeling good light and endo pump hitting right now baby it's hitting So we failed 275, four reps. We got like one and a half. So right now we're gonna hit 255, or hopefully four. So let's do it. Like closer to me. I think I'm about to die. We'll see. Swerving out in love, fuck the bitches. They my top. Let the road go up first, then I might just close my eyes. Bro, <laughs> but we got it. You get the first one, know this bitch. You just another lie. The sun will rise, the stars have already died. got done doing cable flies we did that for 10 reps for four sets now we're gonna move into probably flat dumbbell bench back exercise y'all i got the craziest pump right now i'm gonna need a drill to walk through the door soon enough you know what i'm saying right now i'm weighing about 195 or we have another five mile run weakness seems to be the that can not stop breathing do 100 hope we go for eight my soul is beating leave it to the fleeting open in the street screaming and eating yelling and bleeding i think they know they see and nika sneaking and tweaking because i can't stop seeking this pain is torture of horror that i'm always conceding just got done 
with my back and chest workout. Absolutely juicy lift. I want to talk about something that I was thinking about during my lift. Nick Bear says this all the time, control the controllables. Don't get upset by what happens in life that you cannot control. Go all in on the controllables, whether or not that is prepping the night before, prepping your pre-workout, prepping your clothes. Be prepared for what you want to accomplish because stuff that's out of your control, that doesn't matter. That's always going to happen and it was going to happen from the start down about something that you can't control. There's no point. Control the controllables. So back and chest done. We're going to go home. We're going to have some protein oatmeal. We're about to have our breakfast, which is my protein oatmeal. Guys, I'm not kidding. I eat this every day. Every single day I have this protein oatmeal. It is an absolute staple for my diet and it's perfect for after workout or after run. Packed with fuel and it's packed with protein. So a recipe up on the screen right now. So this is the finished product and we threw some protein and PB2 fit in there after we microwaved it. Yes, I know it kind of looks like just sludge, but it's a protein sludge and it is amazing and this is what I eat every day. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now we are going to do some client work. So after I lift, after I run. I do client work, that's what I do. For a job, I train people. So if you guys want to be trained by me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, you guys could apply for a personal training. I'll leave the link in the bio. I'll do that for a few hours, client work done, get workout programming done. And then from there, we'll edit some more videos for social media. Of course. I'm not